Hello everyone, welcome back to BFX Factory once again and welcome back to another exciting Unreal Engine tutorial. Before starting the video, I am really really apologize for delay in my continue videos. I am suffering from some problems, so little bit delay in my tutorials but I will continue my journey. And please 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 support me, support my videos if you like this. In today's video, we will be creating this Hobbit house also known as the bag end. This process is really easy. In this process, I will show you how to use the modeling tool, how to use the PCG tool and all different kinds of process. And using this process, you can create any other 3D environment. So without much further ado, let's start the video. So this is the scene we are going to create now from the scratch. So let's create a new level first. So go to file new level and I'm going to select this empty level create after then I will go to light setup create the light setup first so go to light here and add direction light add some skylight and then go to visual effect add sky atmosphere fog and the cloud okay and then we will add some settings here just make it here and let's select the skylight make it movable and enable real-time capture and also direction light to movable after then we will create a landscape so let's go to landscape here and you can see this is the grid of our landscape so simply hit create and you can change the dimension here okay so create after then you can sculpt little bit whatever uh, your scene requirement is accordingly okay so i am speeding up this steps after completing the landscape i am going to create my hobbit house so for that i am going to use the modeling tool so let's go to modeling tool and here i am going to use this box so before that i am going to increase the width depth and height here okay and also the subdivision value into 100 okay and let's place it here accept after then i am going to modify this using the plane tool plane cut tool okay so select that and just place wherever you want to cut this cube okay so i'm going to cut this in this side except in this way i will make this in a house shape okay you can see so this is my basic shape so i'm going to duplicate this by pressing alt and move the object and i will place it here again one more time in this side so our next process is let's add some quixel assets so i will go to quixel bridge here and this is our quixel bridge and as you know there are lots of 3d assets in quixel megascan but let me show you what i have downloaded for this specific project so these are the things assets and materials that i'm going to use in my scene so make sure what you are going to create okay so I have already exported in my project. So let me close this and let me open my Megascan folder. And this is my Megascan folder here. Let's go to 3D assets and I will enable the static mesh so that I can see only the 3D meshes. Okay. So I am going to use this one, this arc shape of uh, what we can say wood. Okay. And I'm going to use in this way, just placing the assets all around wherever you want to use. Okay. And if you want to know more about this 3D assets and how to place this in your world, you can check my videos. So I'm going to use a cylinder here to create the gate. So as you can see, I'm in a modeling tool and let's decrease the size of height and increase the radius little bit like 100 no 80 will be better i think yeah after then yes i will place it here just at the middle of this wall okay accept and little bit adjustment again i will duplicate this cylinder twice okay and i will decrease the size and i will select this both the cylinder like this and this this both and here we have measurable option when we click there you can see the shape it changes okay in this way you can use your creativity to your project 
okay again i'm going to add one more cylinder here and let's do some creativity here okay it's up to you guys i'm leaving up to you i'm speeding up the scene and now we will add some material to our wall so i have added this brick wall but the tiling is too much so let's adjust some little bit so i will decrease the tiling by one by one okay just like this and i think i have to rotate this tiling so again i will increase this value a little bit and i'm going to use a rotation angle and change its angle a little bit yeah this is fine okay so let's save this and i'm going to apply all the material wherever i want to apply and do some little kind of creativity and create the whole house it's up to you it will take time so make sure to take your own time and create your own world okay i'm leaving this up to you just use your creativity and that's all guys okay so let's go to our next step so our next step will be pcg grasses so i'm going to add some grasses all over my landscape and over my house for that let's create a new folder here pcg tutorial okay after that i'm going to right click here and here you can see the pcg okay so you can rename this whatever you want to rename double click and here we have a grab option so don't worry about what it is complicated things so i will show you what this is actually so all you have to do is let's press this here open this and just grab this landscape right click and search for surface sampler second grab this and search for density filter again grab this and search for transform points again last one search for static mesh spawner okay this one that's all guys you have to search and just follow this step i have lots of video on pcg graph in my channel you can go and check out so just connect this to here and uh, you can see this is starting mesh and here we have some mesh entry means we can add our meshes means our grass meshes here okay whatever grass we have we want to apply so i am adding three index here for three different grasses so this is my 3d plants and i'm going to use uh, basically this one so let's open this index and drag and drop here again i will open my second index and i'm going to choose second grass yeah this one and for third index i'm going to use this one okay so that's all let's save this and uh, let me make it small little bit so that we can see and now i'm going to my folder pcg tutorial where is that where is that yeah this one let's drag and drop here and as you can see nothing is visible now we have to make some changes so i will open this again and if i go to my uh, let me see go to density filter and basically i have to change some transform points actually i will scale it minimum like 5 and maximum will be 10 i think this will be 10 let's see what is happening yeah yes now you can see the grasses but this is way too large okay so i can change it like 1 and minimum will be five yeah that's all again i will go to my surface sampler uh, just play around all the options you will know what this is actually okay so i'm going to change some points extras yes what is this point extends actually okay just play around all this value guys okay you will understand what is going on again i will choose this density filter just play around the value as i am decreasing the value the grasses are increasing okay again you can change whatever you want rotation also available so must check my pcg tutorial in my channel 
so this is the graph okay now wherever you want to place this place and you can see the grasses this is really good so let's drag and drop wherever you want to add our grasses just like this okay and it will automatically grab the landscape and create the grass okay just like this guys you don't have to apply the brush okay in this place also in these areas yeah now you can see guys our grass process is finished in few times now my next process is to add some 3d assets like some rocks in front of my gates so just kit bash yourself and this is the kit bash process actually whatever you are imagine just create that okay and in this way you can achieve your own creative environment i have lots of environment tutorial in step by step lots of videos are there must go and check so now i'm going to use the foliage to little bit to add some flowers so i'm going to use these two three flowers to my foliage and i'm going to apply that all in front of my house okay so let's select this all and just increase the brush size and i have to increase the scale actually minimum will be 0 0.1 and maximum will be 3 and let's brush it wherever i want to apply just like this also i also i have foliage tool tutorial you can go and check see this scene is much more different from my preview okay because i am doing this for the second time so excuse me for that okay and you can also manually add all the flowers and plants and whatever you want so in this way you can get your own creative environment guys so this is for today's video guys if you like this video if this video is helpful for you please give a thumbs up to this video and if you are new to my channel please do subscribe to my channel for more filmmaking and Unreal Engine related tutorial and again most important thank you so much to everyone who are supporting me in my bad situations and i'm suffering from lots of problems in my life so thank you so much for the supporting and see you again in the next time have a nice day